Power Sports Technology Program is a two-year program. It's got a diploma. Uh, we start out in the first year with snowmobiles and we basically do everything on snowmobiles from the ski tip to the rear snow flap. We rebuild engines, uh, rebuild the crankshafts, we can bore cylinders, uh, you name it, we can pretty much do it here in the Power Sports program. They learn the basic nuts and bolts when they first get here to begin the school year. Uh, they learn the basic shop, shop fundamentals and then what, what they get into is uh, carburetors and then we get into engines and for the second part of the year we'll get into suspensions, clutching, uh, shock rebuilding and towards the end of the year we get into advanced engine fundamentals, doing some advanced engine work, multi-angle valve jobs and performance oriented. With the second year they're starting out uh, on ATVs, motorcycles uh, in the first half of the year. The second half of the year they'll be doing some marine. We work on a lot of customer machines. That's one of the highlights of the second year is we run it identical to if you were in a shop where the, the student will write up the work order, uh, listen to the customer's complaint, verify it perhaps by if they need to take it for a little test ride, and then uh, one student would get assigned that uh, particular task and they'll go through. They'll look up the parts, they'll do the estimate, they'll do everything just as if they were in a shop. So when they get out in the shop, uh, nothing should change. It should be just like what they learned in school. From the dirt bikes to the sport bikes to the custom cruisers, uh, right now we're talking a lot about EFI. That's pretty popular in the industry now is the electronic fuel injection. Uh, we've got some uh, laptop compatible products where you're hooking up the laptops and testing them out. Awesome reputation. I actually knew somebody that went through here and after graduating they got a pretty good job. So transferred and I love it. Great instructor. Learned a lot the first year and then you just take that and build on it in the second year. We got in some actual shop cabinet workbenches which they're individually locked so the students can lock up their tools. I got the nice top. You don't have to have your toolbox. You can just have all your tools in these benches right here. It's just convenient. Very user friendly for the students uh, to, to work on their products that they're working on. In this second year side we have eight test cells. Each individually bring in fresh air and they've got the exhaust system that pull out the exhaust so you don't have to worry about the stinky fumes that's so often associated with the industry. So uh, very, very environmentally friendly for the students to work on the machines. Students are able to buy tools at half price, 50% off. It's a really good deal. As long as you're a student here, within the two years, you can pretty much buy your tools at half price. And from Mac, Maco, Snap-on, Craftsman, SK, uh, we have the tool day. And I'll give you a great discount, and you can't, can't beat it while you're going to school. Basically, any tool you need for the industry, they will, they will sell you for the 50% off as long as you're a student here. Uh, we do have the tool vendors come around just like Snap-on, Mac, go Mac coming around once a week to see if you have any broken tools. And one thing I like to say about the program, tools can get expensive if you can't afford the tools. Uh, we do have some tool sets available that students can use. We have a agreement with Articat where we exchange machines every year. Everything that we do runs here. The, the first snowmobiles that we're working on right now are running snowmobiles. We don't have any dead engines. Makes the students a lot more into their work where they know that after they're done working on it, it's going to start hopefully and run. And I think they like that rather than working on just a mock machine that's never going to run. All the new equipment that we have here is to be worked on. It's not just to look good. Um, in addition, we're actually working on it, taking it apart. You know, right, we'll take this engine down in here and totally go through all the procedures. I've got worksheets that the students fill out, going through engines, going through suspensions, and we'll put it all back together, and it should work flawlessly. If not, we'll do some troubleshooting and find out why it's not. We offer a lot of industry certifications that definitely show the capabilities of the students when they're done with the program. We offer Cat Master, which uh, is available in ATV and snowmobile. We have Yamaha come in twice a year so they can get a, an update certification twice a year. Uh, we have uh, steel chainsaw, bronze level certification, and we have the Equipment and Engine Training Council, which is uh, accreditation for the small engine industry. And we offer two-stroke, four-stroke, and electrical uh, for certification. So by the time they're done, 
with the Power Sports program. Uh, assuming they pass the industry certification test, they should definitely be qualified. A lot of the industry call when they're looking for technicians, and I think you earn a reputation of making good quality technicians when they're done with the program.